Hi! How's it going? It's me again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and uh, life is treating you well. Um, things have been going on, some of which I can talk about, some of which I can't yet. Um, but things are going on. Um, and life is uh, full of ups and downs and interesting things. And sometimes you just have to cross the Rubicon. Now, now that I'm done with the cryptic portion of the uh, conversation, I thought I would talk about um, Ant-Man and what sort of gaming lessons you might be able to pull out of it. Makes a good uh, uh, treatise on having a fun and uh, heist-based story. Heists are often... Heist movies are often super planned out to the, the, the length, the de detail, and you don't find out what those plans are until after the plan has gone off. Now, uh, the game uh, Leverage, uh, from Margaret Weiss uh, and company, actually plays on that. Uh, you can actually sort of, you remember that thing, in invent that on the fly you know we set this up earlier um fate would work well for this as well just spend a fate point and you know say well luckily i was i had a plan for this and da, 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 and the game master likes it they might go for it or not you know altering the scene doing some uh you know minor story alterations to a scene things like that that's a fairly common thing in newer game design um the osr doesn't really have a, a mechanism for it but look if you're running a game in a very simple system the game master can run up uh, you know make changes on the fly uh, not affect the system one way or the other so doing that is a classic trick for doing a heist story now the interesting thing I, I noticed about Ant-Man, which, by the way, it's a fun movie, lots of fun. It's not going to win the prize for uh, best Marvel film ever, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a nice palate cleanser after the sort of heavier stuff that was in uh, Avengers and uh, Winter Soldier and such. It uh, This was not a, you know, the world is in danger. This was... Uh, sort of a smaller story, and I liked it. Anyways, it was it was fun, and one of the things that kept it uh, fun is letting characters be characters. Um, and you could do this in the game too. Sometimes there is a, a tendency, especially with a, a you know a, a, a very solidly plotted out thing like a heist or a murder mystery or something like that, to sort of constrain and pull in the players and make them sort of fit into boxes a little bit more because you need the extra control. I've been guilty of this myself on some time travel stories on occasion. Uh, <clears throat> but this one actually lets the characters be characters. They have a plan at the beginning and they follow the plan up until the point where something goes wrong. Uh, that is an interesting uh, way to do the heist story that's different than the the typical heist movie story. Because the typical heist movie story is, well, we're going to do these few things, and then there will be these other things that we've already set in motion and we haven't told you about. Uh, the closest they can get to that in the movie is... Uh, yeah. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's one thing where it was like, okay, here's a prior plan we didn't tell the audience about. But most of it, the, the audience knew. Um, and and so structurally, the, you know, in a game context, the players would know this is what the plan is, this is what everything that we're, we're going for is doing, and, uh, you know, we're not going to have a twist somewhere down the road. The twist is what is going to go wrong with this plan and how are the players going to deal with it giving them a plan that they can set in motion to feel like they are in control, to have that sense of control, and then toss complications in 
within the context of that plan makes for an interesting story and an interesting challenge for the players. So uh, I think that's a lesson you could take away from uh, the Ant-Man movie. Uh, another one that you can take is, um, you know, the different people, different uh, specialities really do make a good team. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, if everybody in the party does the same sort of thing, then it's kind of boring. Um, but if everybody is, you know, got their own sort of weird specialities, um, then uh, it makes for an inter much more interesting to watch the plan come together. Anyway, um, I, I recommend you go see it. Uh, it's a good movie. And uh, think about uh, stuff about heist stories uh, to come off of it. Um, one thing that I will say is uh, a negative that uh, you might want to take as a lesson for your game as well. The villain in the movie, while the actor is excellent, uh, the villain doesn't feel very complete. He doesn't feel like he makes a lot of sense. Uh, you want to make sure that your villain makes enough sense uh, that uh, that you don't you're not confused by what he's doing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna c cut it there. Um, subscribe, like, share with all the people, and I will be less cryptic sometime in the near future. Or will I?